What's going on everybody, it's Jay Coffee Talk back again with another video for you guys and you see what we're talking about, recapping this Buffalo Bills, Tennessee Titans week 5 matchup, but before we get into speaking about the game, gotta go over something, um, you know, serious, and uh, real quick, I'm gonna roll some footage for you guys, I'll be right back to break this down for y'all. you guys saw that right there man that it was wild and um you know th thank god this young man is okay uh, he's not paralyzed he does have a concussion but um you know it seems from everything i'm hearing he's okay other than you know uh being busted up i heard he may have some broken bones he may not but from everything i'm hearing nothing really really serious and you've seen the way that dude landed that was bananas and um, you see this tweet right here that's popping up. That's from Buffalo Bills, you know, fan favorite, uh, a legend to me, even though he was only with the team a few years, Stevie Johnson, and just saying, listen, you know, wherever this whole tables thing came from, let's stop it. You know, enough is enough. Now, get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, a few weeks back, we seen there was another situation. I'm not even going to share that footage. If you guys want, you could look it up. But there was a situation where, you know, another member of Bill's Mafia, you know, they were out having some fun, drinking, messing around or whatever. And there was an accident with some fireworks that blew up in dude's face. And this is wild, man. And now listen, you guys know if you listen to my channel, I'm a diehard Bill's fan. And there's nothing wrong with drinking, partying, getting a little wild, you know, as long as it, it sounds crazy that I say keep it responsible when I'm talking about getting all wasted, but you know what I'm saying? Keep it within reason. There's nothing wrong with having fun. A lot of these season ticket holders, well, I mean, well, regardless, whoever it is, they're paying money. I was going to say a lot of them work hard. Whether they work hard or not, it's a lot of bread, you know what I mean, that you're spending good money to go to these games so people want to cut loose and have fun. But, um, I don't know, man. It, it, the accidents just you know, keep happening. I don't know, man. Um, it's wild. So I just want to put this out there to any members of Bill's Mafia that see this video. Uh, you know, Let me know what you guys think about this. And I just want to say that this, uh, a lot of Bill's fans keep feeling the need on Twitter to put out there that this is a small percentage of us fans. Um, I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. This doesn't represent the whole organization or anything or the whole fan base. I'm not ashamed that these guys are Bills fans, but um, just be safe, everyone. That's all I'm trying to say, and I want to see what everyone else thinks about this. Now, let's talk about the game. Um, if you're a Bills fan, what a game. We're going into a much-needed bye week at 4-1. and one. There was a, you know, a lot of banged-up guys um, in this game. You know, I'm not even going to go over all the injuries, but prior to this game, you know, Devin Singletary still been hurt since week two. Croft, we at tight end, we still haven't seen him play, you know, who is addition to our team that we were really, really looking forward to see this dude get out there and play. So hopefully them two can be back, you know, by in two weeks when, you know, uh, not next Sunday, the bye week, the following Sunday that they're, you know, ready to go. But we did, we did have a lot of guys banged up in the game. Um, Poyer, one of my favorites, he got uh, hurt, came back. Just we're, we're banged up and it's, um, it'll be nice to get that, that bye week and going into the bye week at four and one is absolutely lovely. But um, let's talk about this game, man. Um, I was very confident that we could beat the Titans. 
Um, to all the Titans fans out there, please get in the comments too, guys. Even though I'm a Bills fan, I constantly say on my channel, and for all those who are new to my channel, I cover music, news, sports, current events, all kinds of stuff, and I always want to hear an opinion. You know, that's that's what my channel is all about, hearing from you guys, the audience, the people. I can agree to disagree. Let's let's talk about stuff. I like we can debate whatever, as long as we keep it respectful. I don't got to agree with you, but I want to hear what you got to say. And you don't got to agree with me. I, it's not that kind of channel. You know what I mean? Um, it's all about that conversation. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And, um, you know, like I said, I cover a lot of stuff on this channel. But, um, you know, I felt to the Titans fans, I felt confident that we could beat you guys. <clears throat> but I knew the game was not a gimme because, um, you know, we have a very, very strong, dominant defense, but your guys' defense was no joke neither. And, um, you know, our offense has been struggling a little bit. Josh Allen, who I'm happy with, uh, I love this dude. Uh, he's our quarterback. That's my quarterback, you know what I mean? But um, he's still learning. He had a shaky game last week against the Patriots. He was nervous, I felt like. But um, I I'm, I'm confident in him, and I, I like what I see, but he's having ups and downs, and he's going to. So I didn't feel like this game was a gimme, but um, I felt confident that we could win. Let me know what you guys thought, Titans fans. But um, real quick, I got to say, I got to bust your guys' balls a little bit. How does it feel to have that forward light lateral, huh? <laughs> you know, for uh, all, all the, um, you know, other NFL fans to comment on this game, guys. But, um, you know, everyone knows that Music City Miracle, that was a forward lateral. I don't care what y'all say. Um, we should have won that game. Uh, real quick sidebar, I'll get back to this game. But Doug Flutie should have started that game. Rob Johnson sucked. We still almost won the game with Rob Johnson Y'all got that forward ladder roll that they did not call. You guys went it to go on to the Super Bowl, get stopped on the one-yard line, and lose. I feel like we could have ran through the playoffs that year and made a run at a Super Bowl. But anyways, getting back to the game, um, our defense went out there and got it done again. Uh, Jordan Phillips, who's a beast, he went out there, got three sacks, was all over the place. Um, you know, the linebackers look great. Matt Milano got uh, banged up, too. He's another one who I really, really like. I'm, you know, the hopefully we'll see what his status is with the bye week and everything like that. Um, the safeties, corners played outstanding. I mean, look, Mariota went 13 for 22 for 183 yards. Last week, I think Brady threw for like a buck 50. That's two weeks in a row we've held the opposing quarterback to under 200 yards that's huge man that's huge so for all them patriots fans that are out there talking about oh our offense was had a bad game no 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 i mean they did but it was because our defense is a monster i had that really frustrated me in that in that game against new england that they they just you know were saying they they're that like brady and the offense didn't do well no like our defense knew what they were doing and you guys will see when we uh get you guys in that second game of the season this year we're going to get that W. I'm confident of it. Um, but, yeah, the defense all around looked phenomenal. You know, there was times in the game where the offense, especially in that third quarter, could not stay on the field. So the defense had to keep going out there. And, um, you know, I mean, they gave up seven points, but um, they held it down even though as tired they were, you know. Um, now, speaking about the offense, real quick, like I said before, I talk about the struggles, which I already kind of touched on. Um, John Brown, who is my favorite receiver on the team, he went out there, got seven, or I'm sorry, five receptions for 75 yards. The veteran Frank Gore, who hit that 15K either, what was it, last week or the week before, I believe it was two weeks ago against Cincinnati. He went out there, got 60 yards on the ground. Um, and how about Duke Williams, who is a favorite in preseason? You know, he his career took a detour. He was in the CFL, balling out one of the best receivers they ever had over there, led the league in receiving. He gets a shot back in the NFL with my Buffalo Bills, kind of like how I just mentioned Doug Flutie. If you guys remember, he was a Heisman winner, had to go to the CFL for a while, and, uh, you know, came back and got his second shot with the Buffalo Bills. 
Um, <clears throat> and then there was a, a defensive tackle we had a few years back named Stephon Charles, who also had to go to the CFL for a little while. But I'm getting a little off the subject anyways, getting back to Duke. You know, he didn't make final cuts, but we got him on the practice squad. And everyone, including myself, was like, why didn't this guy uh, make the active roster? Because he was tearing it up. You know, preseason is preseason, but we saw his skill set, the hands that he has, the way that he is an amazing red zone target. And, um, you know, I've heard people come say he's like a hybrid. He's a wide receiver, but the way his size mixed with his ability, catching and his abilities and his physical play he's like a hybrid wide receiver slash tight end so it was outstanding for him to get out there he grabbed four receptions and got that game winner from Josh Allen um there's some really cool footage you guys can find it's online I, I was checking it out on Twitter earlier follow me on Twitter everyone at J coffee talk and um I'll follow you back let me know when you fo- if you follow me tweet me or dm me or something and say yo um i seen one of your youtube videos but um you know yeah there's that footage where they're going in the tunnel leaving the game and josh allen's like yo i love you bro i love you bro we did it and him and duke are amp that was outstanding to see and um i don't know man i'm just i'm really liking this team i just feel like allen has got to calm it down and get it together um i feel like a lot of it has to do with that they tweaked his game. They kind of told him not to run so much. So he second guesses, should he run? Um, he sometimes is forcing throws into coverage. I, I like the, um, you know, offensive play calling. We do a lot of like options and sweeps and stuff like that, like almost like a co- college style offense, but where it's a very, um, you know, wide variety. Uh, our offensive coordinator, Brian DeBall is calling. So I'm, I'm loving what we're doing, but I'm, um, that Isaiah McKenzie, who was a diamond in the rough we got last year, he had a, a key play on that big pick, pickup on that end around late in the game when the offensive kind of been stalling out. And, um, you know, that was key, got us downfield and everything like that. But, um, you know, I really like that we mix it up and he gets he he gets the ball coming out of the backfield, even though, you know, he is a small wide receiver, you know, slim. And um, but he's a he's a he's a weapon. And um, I'm really liking that 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 we have him as a has a weapon. I'm just I'm just loving what this team has. So get in the comments, everyone. Um, let me know what you guys all think. Everyone subscribe to the channel, even if you're not a Bills fan. As I said, I also cover music, news, sports, current events, all that. I got a podcast coming soon. You guys ain't gonna want to miss that. But um, <clears throat> getting back to just saying how great this team is, how much I love how our team is doing. Um, something I got to touch on in uh, Titans fans. I'm not trying to shit on your team or your franchise. As I said, that was a home game for the bills in Tennessee. Um, there's lots of footage and pictures and stuff where you can see that it was like, it was, it was like a home game for us. Same thing in, uh, the, the, uh, the Jets and Giants game in MetLife, like our fan base, is the best man and we're going we're making away games home games our this is our year we are going back to the playoffs um morale is high it's just it's just a great time um everything's lovely you know us bills fans us diehard fans like myself we went through a lot of tough times you know um i felt down at times through you know the drought and everything like that but i always believed if you will um always kept the faith and um you know the, uh, as I keep saying in all my videos and I keep telling everyone when I talk football, <clears throat> everyone who tells me I'm crazy when I tell them that our Bills are, are doing big things this year is um, Coach McDermott and um, Brandon Bean built a winner. You know, this is their third year in Buffalo and they put a winning team together, man. And these guys, uh, these guys are a team. You know what I mean? They got each other's back and it's lovely. But um, I'm going to close that out. Hope to hear from everyone in the comments, Bills fans, Titans fans, other NFL fans. Um, I do do NFL content on other teams. I actually have one that I'm going to do later today. Look for that. Um, But that's all I got, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. J Coffee Talk, blog and sports, music, news, life, current events, and much, much more. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Go Bills 4-1, baby.